for my first project, I'm going to recreate this burlap peppermint sticks, which is on sale for $28.99. I'm using the center roll of some vinyl I used up. You can also use the center of aluminum foil. These centers are good hard cardboard and they do very well. I am using red burlap ribbon and khaki burlap ribbon, which I got for $5 each at Dollar General last year. And I only used a little of both of them. Now I started off gluing the end of the red inside the top of the core. And I just weaved it around and then I just followed it with two strips of the khaki. I'm sorry I was out of frame for part of this, but on the second one you'll see more clearly what I did. For the ends of my candy cane, I just traced the circle out on the khaki burlap and then just cut it out and glue, hot glued it down. For the smaller roll, I just did the same thing, but I only needed one strip of the khaki ribbon. Now I just stack up my candy canes, putting the smallest in the t on top, and I decide which ribbon I'm going to use. I like that ribbon that I had at the top, but I didn't have enough of it, and so I opted to go with this plaid ribbon I had. I just used some jute cord that I had and just tighten a knot just to hold everything together while I continue working with the ribbon. I take a strip of the ribbon and just tie it in a knot and then I just dovetail the ends. I was going to leave the jute cord long, but I didn't really like it, so I clip it off. Now I just make an easy bow, just flipping it over three till I've got three loops on each side. And then I just tie it together with some jute string and um, just wrap it real tight around with the jute string. And then I just fluff out the bow and hot glue it to the candy canes. Now 
to take this pick I actually found in the garbage and I just clip off a few pieces tie them together with some jute string and then just hot glue it to the top of my bow And here's how it turned out. I probably only got about three dollars in this, if that much. And I just, I love it. It sure beats the $28.99. Today's challenge is chic for cheap. This is where we make a dupe of something for a fraction of the cost. This challenge is hosted by Christy of Christy Creates. And this month's co-host is Betsy from Cut and Corners Vinyl. I will have both their channels listed in the description box down below as well as the playlist. I can't wait to see what everybody has made. For my second dupe, I'm recreating these ornaments. I am using the Dollar Tree Tumbling Tower Blocks and I'm going to hot glue them end to end. Now I'm going to give one good coat of Waverly chalk paint in white. For the Merry Christmas, I just use my Tombow marker and write it out. If I had small enough rubber stamps, I would use that, but I didn't have any that were small enough. So I just wrote it out. For my Christmas tree, I used truffle in from Waverly Chalk Paint to do my trunk of my tree, and I just draw a line straight down the block, and then I highlight it with the mineral. Now I take some of this Kelly Green in Apple Barrel Paint and I add a little bit of white to one of them and I use these to make my tree and I just go down with a darker color and then come across with a lighter color just kind of mixing and blending and I love these these are from plaid most of the stuff I use is from plaid and I am a plaid ambassador and I'm proud to be that because it is such a wonderful product Now I'm going to take these 4th of July star stickers I got from Hobby Lobby for half price and I'm going to paint two of them with the truffle chalk paint and then I'm just going to dab some of the mineral chalk paint on top to give it texture. I make hangers for my ornaments just using jute twine. I just tie a knot and then I'll hot glue it to the top of my ornaments. I pick out a ribbon that I'm going to use and I just um, cut a length and then just tighten a knot around the hanger. Now I'm going to hot glue the stars to the top of my trees. I decide the Merry Christmas needs something 
also. So I hot glue a poinsettia sticker to the top. And here's how they turned out. I think they're adorable. I love them and they were so easy to make. For my third and final project, I'm gonna recreate this joy sign. It's only $286 and change, but you did get free shipping. I had this old piece of wood and I just haphazardly slap on some white chalk paint. And I add a little bit of water to my brush just to kind of whitewash it. I don't want full coverage. I want it to look old and chippy. And I just give it a good shot and then I come back with the mineral paint and did the same thing. And now I made a stencil using my Cricut. And I just cut it out of this vinyl contact paper that from Dollar Tree. And I just made my design on Cricut Design Space. Transferred it with transfer tape. Smoothed out all the bubbles that I could. And just got it ready to stencil. To start off with, I just used some Mod Podge and went over all the areas with the Mod Podge so that it wouldn't bleed when I added the red. I let the Mod Podge dry and I just gave it just a little good coat because I knew that the way the stencil was, it, it could likely bubble up underneath and I did not have any issues. And I'm just stenciling with Waverly Chalk Paint and Crimson and I'm just doing light stenciling because I want it to look chippy and old worn. And I just immediately pull up that stencil. That's the best part about stenciling. And I just remove the bits and pieces. And then I have my sign. I love it. And it was so inexpensive compared to the 280 something dollars and if you don't have a Cricut all you have to do is use use carbon paper and trace it out and paint it in and here are all my projects together I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button if you hadn't ring that bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos leave a comment. Be sure to check out Christie's and Betsy's channels. Thank you ladies for hosting this challenge and until next time, bye y'all.